All right, welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna install the ARB air compressor, the Slee ARB compressor mount, and wire it in. So where the bracket actually resides is right over top of your ABS sensor junction right there. We'll kind of zoom out a little bit. It's right behind your air box. Mine truck's totally stock, so it has the stock air box. So it goes right there. We're just gonna remove, boop. We're gonna loosen uh, this bolt right there. There's also two pre-threaded nuts, I guess, right into the body, the side of the inner fender right there, where two bolts come with the Slee off-road bracket. So we'll get to mounting that up. All right, here's the Slee bracket. It's nice powder-coated. Uh, there's a the bracket, there's also support. Uh, there's some 90-degree uh, tubing angles for the compressor, all the required hardware, as well as uh, printed out directions. So, step one, get organized, count all your hardware, make sure it's all there. Uh, step two is what I'm gonna do next, is um, install this right over top of the ABS junction. You have uh, two um, bolts you're gonna bolt into the side of the inner fender. Everything's a size uh, 10 millimeter. I have my collection of 3 8 inch drive uh, wrenches. You can use a quarter inch uh, drive ratchet, but uh, I can't find some of my sockets. Um, yeah, we'll get to it. All right, good thing I had a giant extension here. Uh, I have my ratchet all set up here with this mega giant extension with a 12 millimeter uh, deep socket. So I'm just gonna loosen um, this bolt right here. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. All right, now I'm gonna install the bracket. I have everything kind of loosened up, kind of in place. Uh, so we'll get to it. All right, I got the main bracket in installed. It's still kind of loose. I'm gonna leave everything loose until I install the support bracket here. Uh, two more 10 millimeter bolts, and this bolts back onto the firewall. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so what I was doing there was unloosening those three uh, nuts to attached to that bracket that holds some uh, wiring looms and maybe some vacuums. Uh, and the sleeve bracket actually fits right, right there, except you kind of weave it through under here. I'll show you the final product. All right, there it is, nice and secure. It was pretty easy to install. Um, just basically needed a open end box end wrench, uh, 10 millimeter for these bolts, or 12 millimeter for the uh, the one on the ABS junction. Uh, and yeah, it's super solid. Next, I just need to uh, mount the compressor. All right, the next step is to prep the air compressor. I already installed the little uh, air filter here. You just simply screw it on and put the filter in. I'm also gonna rotate it a little bit. Uh, so there's just two Allen head uh, screw screws right there. Uh, unloosen them, you can either, you can keep the manifold how it is like that. I don't like that because it's kind of high up. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of flop it down on its side <clears throat> and mount the compressor that way. All right, I just got done re-wickering the air compressor. Uh, as you can see, I totally kind of transposed itself over down there on the other side. Actually, uh, it's gonna sit in the truck. Um, kind of like, well, this. Uh, the driver's side will be over here, passenger side will be over here. Um, that way I can easily put my air chuck in there as well as uh, later throw some solenoids in here for a front and rear locker. Uh, it started raining right now, so I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to install this. So see you tomorrow. It's another day. Uh, I'm gonna try and install the compressor today as well as wire it up. I had to go to Home Depot and grab some Teflon tape for the different fittings. All right, here's the compressor. Um, what we have here is the uh, little red thing, little cap. We're gonna pull that off, put some Teflon tape around a T that came with the ARB air up kit. Uh, it looks like, whoop, looks like right here. Um, it's just a different T thing, so you can put your compressor shutoff switch uh, in one end as well as your <clears throat> where your air chuck's gonna go in the other. 
You can kind of see it right there. Uh, so we'll get to that. And one important thing is to always use Teflon tape on some of your air fittings. It'll make it airtight. No need to really torque down on these uh, as you thread it in the compressor, but um, just make sure that you use uh, Teflon tape for all your fittings or else you're gonna have air leaks all through there. All right, here it is. I have our air check ready to go, the pressure switch ready to go as well. Next step is just installing the truck and run the wires. All right, I have my tools here. Um, this is the backing plate. So what you're gonna do is install the compressor uh, on top of the slee bracket. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this mounting plate, but the, as per the ARB directions, if you're using some type of alternative mount, um, always stick this underneath, kind of like a big washer. And then uh, the only tool you really need, hopefully, is a open end box end 10 millimeter wrench. So here's what I have. Let's do it to it. All right, here's the compressor. We're gonna now install it. It might be a little bit tricky. There are these carriage bolts that kind of flop around and slide out, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, I'd remove the air filter box. I uh, just kind of flop it up there. There's a little clip on the mass airflow sensor. Um, kind of take that off. Uh, a 10 millimeter will take off uh, that hose clamp, and then there's three 12 millimeter bolts. Um, so that should open up some room for install. I couldn't get my hands in between there, uh, but here we go again. All right, here is the ARB air compressor wiring harness. Um, it does look a little bit overwhelming, uh, but it's okay, don't worry about it. Uh, it does get a little bit overwhelming if you're going to uh, use a the, the, the switches that came with it. I'm gonna use an S-Pod, so things are a little bit easier for me. <clears throat> so what you're gonna do, if you have an S-Pod, if you don't have an S-Pod, the S-Pod's just basically the switch. So you're gonna run these two ground cables right here, as well as the power cable directly to a battery terminal. terminal. They give you the necessary uh, ends. You just have to strip a little bit of wire that comes kind of pre-stripped. Uh, and then wire that up. <clears throat> There's also a big giant fuse right there. And then we get to these wires right here. Uh, so this will plug right into the compressor. Pretty self-explanatory on that one. Uh, these are your two, um, two cables with these ends that slip onto the two um, male connector ends, these are females, for the pressure regular switch. Um, and these are your front and rear lockers. I don't have front and rear lockers on my truck yet. Uh, I am planning to put a, a rear locker in it, but that'll be for another day, um, or a Detroit two track. But uh, So I won't be using these two uh, right now. You also have a relay for ARB, so, um, comes with the, uh, just kind of mount it on a bolt somewhere. And then you have um, this cable right here that plugs into, um, you generally pipe this through the firewall if you're gonna use the out of the box switches that uh, ARB provides. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, you can kind of see the wires there. There are yellow, green, red, and black Yellow and green uh, go to front and rear lockers. The red and black are your power uh, and ground. <clears throat> so S-Pod does make a harness that clips right into this, but uh, I did a little bit of reverse engineering. I did some research on the harness. And what you can actually do is take this crazy harness right here that ARB gives you. Um, you have your isolation wiring uh, your wiring for switch one as well as switch two, so front and rear lockers over here, which I'm not going to use. Um, and then all this connects basically to those four wires. So what I did was take those four wires and cut them off. I'm going to actually solder these on a little bit longer and make it nicer, use some, some nice shrink wrapping. Uh, so front and rear lockers right here, I won't be using those today, so I'll um, tuck those away. But here are our power and ground wires that, um, that I'll use. And what I'm going to do is mount the power and ground wires directly to the S-Pod. So I'm going to lengthen 
these a little bit, do some soldering, put some shrink wrap on it, and then put the um, the ends for the S pod. And then eventually, um, I'll do the same for these two. I might actually do it now, just to have them done. Autofocus. Uh, there they are. So in a nutshell, that's what you can do. It'll save you $18 for the S pod wiring harness. Uh, then again, I may have a degree in engineering, but I'm not an electrical engineer, so if you screw this up, well, your own fault. One thing to note when, pli when wiring up the pressure switch, um, you can take any of these two, the, the, the blue wire, ARB refers to it as the dark blue wire, as well as the red wire, they can go into any of the ends of the pressure switch, so either one works, just a side note. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and do that now. All right, I have the compressor wired in from this end. Um, next, I'm just gonna snug it up. Right now it's kind of floating around. I'll put our air box back, as well as uh, run the wiring to the S-Pod, as well as the, uh, the battery. All right, it's all installed. It's ready to go. I wired it to the S-Pod, I turned it on. Uh, the pressure cutoff switch works perfect, so I'm gonna install our whoop, air line here, and uh, I took some air out of the tire, so I'm just gonna air up a little bit. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a few helpful tips whenever you go do this, uh, especially on the wiring harness. Uh, I really cut that apart and made it a lot more, way, way, way more simple. Um, save yourself 18 bucks, no need to buy the S-Pod ARB adapter. Just simply cut, splice, um, three wire, four wires, pretty easy. All right, everybody, remember to like, subscribe, and be kind.